Do you believe that it was a it was a plot by the industry to get Suge Knight out of here, or do you think yeah. what yeah. he's done is like a, okay? No, I, I, I answered the question. Yeah, Tim was doing too much. That's what I had to get out of there. Doing way too much. It was too much gang banging going down. It was, see, you niggas only know about a few murders. This is a gang of murders, dude. We Jim Tam, was this a? Was this before or after Tupac? Because when we watched the Death Row documentary... Oh, way before Tupac. Way before Tupac. Got you. Way before Tupac. I mean, the shit... The shit... The shit got out of control. That's why I left. I mean, I'm no scary Mm -hmm. nigga. I would have stayed. I would have never left Ruthless if Dre wouldn't have left. I mean, you know, Ruthless now, you know... You know, they had hard niggas, but Ruthless had sense. The shit... After a while, that death row was just simple as shit. And it was right. real gang-banging going down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's man. Real no, niggas now, it, it, it's real niggas now trying to, you know, nigga, some days I was going to the lobby, bro, every, you go in that lobby some days, it's all these niggas always fresh out of prison make a beeline to the company. Blood niggas. Whole lobby be full of blood niggas smoking Newports, that they even broke the filter off or camels. Like they sitting around like like when I'm like I just been in county jail and shitting all the time down here, right? And then sometimes, you know, like when you come out of your cell and shit, or you'll have them niggas down there. This is back like I didn't go to county jail as soon as I got out of here in eighty. Where we used to smoke in jail. And then you have some niggas that are so institutionalized, all they do is just sit there all day smoke, gossiping, talking shit. And that's how that day room in in, in, in death row was. Just a bunch of football playing looking motherfuckers sitting on super swole, all killers and drug dealers. Niggas up there robbing motherfuckers left and right. They come there for meetings, taking people cameras. I remember one time they stole the whole motherfucking um, NBC. <laughs> they had like one of them. Um, they had like one of them. Um, you know them news like a like I was on a. Um, prime time live, you know, like one of those type of shows. You know what I'm saying? Right. With that white with that white lady. They they, were, they robbed them and took everything, everything, including her purse. All them expensive ass cameras and you see what I'm saying? Them big ass suitcases worth of shit. They took everything. Them niggas went to lunch and they was talking about she was gonna be there. Coaxed them out. go ahead, we gonna watch this stuff. They got back, nigga, wasn't nothing there. And then they used to come up there, niggas trying to get on their throat, just straight robber. You know, 